Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to show you today a few items that I got from MAC, mostly from the Zach Posen collection, which has been released uh, I think about a week and a half ago here in the UK. And also I bought one lipstick from the, um, I'm going to say Flamingo collection. Was it Pretty Flamingos? Anyway, whatever. Uh, Zach Posen, first of all. Um, I was kind of disappointed uh, when I opened this eye palette. I don't know why. I don't quite know what I was expecting that I didn't get. But I have to say, I have worn various combinations of these six shades about four times in the past week. And I really, really like the palette. Uh, it's a really um, nice selection for me of kind of muted but sophisticated shades. I've been wearing these eye looks to work um, and they've been lasting really well. I have to say I've been layering um, every time on top of one or other of the uh, Dior Show colour and contours. Um, this kind of taupey one I've been using most, but I've also been using the pinky one. Uh, so I don't know to what extent it's that that's really fixing these shadows because I do find that Dior uh, colour and contour, um, you have to be quite quick to get it on because it um, kind of fixes quick and then it really stays in place, and so does the um, liner. I really like uh, those pencils, but I know that they have irritated some people. They don't irritate me at all, and I don't get any fallout from them. And as I say, I love to use them for a base. And then um, one of these colours, this one here, which is Floof, uh, I already have. And of course, the um, pans are quite a bit smaller than the... Um, refill pans you get for the kind of make your own palette. All the other colours I don't have. I think most of them are the looks pearls. So um, there's Cozy Grey, Performance Art, Palatable, Floof, After Dusk and Mauve Over. Um, this Cozy Grey up in this corner here um, is a nice um, looks quite kind of bland and matte. I don't think it is a matte actually. Uh, no, it's a Velux Pearl, but it goes on there. You can't see it at all. Um, I promise you on my eyelid, it basically just um, blanks out any imperfections on my eyelid. And um, if I want to do a really, really just basic contour, um, it works as a, a transition. I'm very pale, of course. Um, so I really, really like it. Um, floof, some people would find too pearlized, but I use it just in the inner corner of my eye, which is very dark to lighten up. And then I've been loving these two for just a very nice neutral look. Um, this pretty pretty pinky mauve in particular really really pretty on the lid this one not quite as buttery but you know gives a nice transition um this purple is a bit more pigmented but on the lid um it just gives a little bit of um extra color contour and then i haven't used this gray brown as much but even that one's got really a nice um kind of pearl they don't look enormously pigmented when I do that, uh, but I promise you, certainly on my pale skin, they work very well. And I think just give a really sophisticated look. So I can't speak highly enough, really, of this little palette. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I bought two of the lipsticks. This one I have been using. Um, again, it's incredibly pale. It's called um, Sheer Madness. It's a luster. I like the lusters generally a lot. On my skin, you won't see it there at all as a shine. Um, it does give, because the shine is um, slightly duochrome, a bit more than just a shine on the lips, but not much. Um, so it's perfectly pleasant to wear. It gives a kind of polished look, but not much more than that. Now, I haven't plucked up courage to actually wear this one. 
which is one of the two much brighter colours. There's a very um, bluey pink and then this very bright orange. What's it called? It's a matte and it's Darling Clementine. And that you're certainly going to see. Um, so I think that would be a really startling combo with the eye palette. As I say, I haven't um, dared use it yet. Um, but I think I might in the summer or in a bit brighter weather. I mean, mats are tough and the MAC mats are a bit drying. As I say, I haven't worn this, so I haven't been able to <coughs> tell you yet um, exactly how that wears. I also bought, um, as a repromote in the uh, Zach Posen, the fluid line, which I haven't had before. Uh, I'm not really very good with these, but this one looked nice and fine. I thought I'd give it another go. I can't do cat eyes because I've got, um, you know, too much uh, baggy eye really now, but um, just to give a bit more line. So um, I got that. And then from the Pretty Flamingos, there was just a plethora of corally pinks. And I got the Fashion Flock because that was a limited edition for this collection. Um, it actually, when I got it, is quite similar. I got it off the website, Sight Unseen. I think their colours, swatches, are sometimes a little misleading. It's actually quite like uh, one I've got called Saigon Summer. So... If I'd actually tried it in store, I might not have bothered, but it is a pretty coral. Uh, will be great for spring. And I do like matte lipsticks. This one's um, another matte. My favourite tends to be the lustres. They're a bit more forgiving, but, um, you know, they're great value for money, I think, um, matte lipsticks. And I, I like the packaging, actually, um, quite a lot. So um, those were my picks. There were a lot more products in the Flamingo collection. That There are lots of reviews out there on YouTube. Um, it, they just didn't grab me, really. Um, I'm not a great MAC blush person, and uh, I like the kind of eyeshadow palettes, but not so much the singles. Um, but the Zach Posen, um, while the packaging, I didn't talk about that. It's just a kind of grungy matte plastic. Um, I suppose it's kind of in keeping with the image of Zach Posen, but nothing to get too excited about. But as I say, the actual colours, uh, I think, are a really nice pretty sophisticated um, combo. Maybe it's just me. I seem to be really into the purples and mauves um, this spring. I have been liking my Tom Ford Lilac Dream and uh, I've actually got Violet Dusk as well now, which I didn't have before. So there we go. That's my purple phase at the moment. So those are my picks from MAC um, Zach Posen and uh, I shall speak to you again soon. Bye for now.